I'm Tiffany Windsor. And I'm Heidi Borchers. Today we're on a crusade to save the soda cans. For crafting, of course. And I'm using the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles. I'm going to show you how to make a flower from a soda can. I'm using the Aline's Tacky Dot Singles today. They're easy to use, they're quick, that makes this project so fast to put together. We're using soda cans today, all kinds of soda cans, different soda cans, they all have wonderful colors. And just simply use a craft knife to cut them apart. You just push it in, cut it all the way around, turn the other side. It is a little bit stronger here, so come in about a quarter of an inch and cut it off at, right at the end. And when you're done, it actually is like this, and then you cut it open, and you have your material to work with. Now, I usually work from the color side, because I want to know what color I'm going to use. Like, I don't always use all the color of it. I love right here on this one, this pink color. So I put my template, just a circle template, right over the color area. Use the stylus, and just simply mark where you want your circle. And just use old scissors to cut it out. Don't use your very best ones. And I have found that as long as you do everything with a rounded edge on a soda can, it does not, it's not sharp. Everybody always asks me, well, isn't that sharp to wear or use? As long as all the edges, no matter what you do, are rounded, it is not sharp. Now I cut my patterns or my little templates out of cereal box and I just, this has an eight pointed flower. I put it down onto my piece and I simply mark it with my stylus. I have eight points, eight petals. Sometimes I need to know where the center is so I put a little dot. And then just again do the rounded edges, I'm going to do rounded point, uh, petals. And then turn it over and do the other side. Now that I've cut my flower shape, we want to emboss it. Take your stylus and go on the back on each petal. And also notice I'm working on a piece of craft foam. It really embosses really well on a piece of craft foam. Turn it over and just put a circle right there and one of your petals is ready. Now we have several different sizes of petals that I've cut. I've done them all the same way. The last little center petal is actually a circle that I've cut in or fringed around the edge and that's going to be the very center. On the back of each piece I have put a Aline's tacky dot. I've removed the top layer and so now the tacky dot is there and I've removed the back layer. So I just start to build them. And you can see my flower starting to take shape. And on the very center we're going to put one more. I'm going to put a little bead in there and wrap that little center. I'm just taking my fingers, my, just my fingertips and wrapping it around the bead. Super simple. You can shape these up a little bit. 
all up and let's take a look at my box with that uh, tacky dot on the back of the flower I put it onto the box to get the background of the flower the a box I cut some little pieces little square pieces use my Aleem's tacky dots and just do a mosaic on the side super simple easy to put together and it's eco-friendly my sister eco Heidi has been making flowers for jewelry out of soda cans for years and they're so easy the Aleem's tacky dot singles are available at Michael's it's terrifically tacky and creatively cool